Hi, I'm Abi from Airbyte, and today we're going to be going over the change data capture feature recently implemented in Airbyte, specifically relating to our Postgres data source. CDC is incredibly important because it allows Airbyte to emit metadata for each record about when it was updated or deleted. This is valuable because without this metadata, it's not possible in a destination to determine if a record has been deleted or not. The way that we do this is that we subscribe to a Postgres publication and we tell Postgres to essentially store this metadata in what we call the write-ahead log files, more commonly known as WAL, W-A-L. This is the closest that you can possibly get to tracking database operations real time, which is why it's really valuable for using them for capturing whether or not a entry has been updated or deleted. Now that we have a bit of background, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to create a table and add some data to it. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a logical replication slot, which is what will tell Postgres to save the metadata involving the updated and deleted rows. And finally, we're just going to create our publication, which will allow us to subscribe to these changes that we've just asked Postgres to save. Now we're going to create a Postgres source as normal, but we are going to select logical replication as our replication method, and we're going to input the name of our replication slot and publication that we created earlier. Now we're just going to create a really simple destination. We're just going to write to local JSON to see what the outputs of our Postgres stream looks like. And so let's just set up a quick connection between the two and run our first sync. We're going to want to run these syncs manually, and we're going to pick incremental append just to decrease the amount of noise. Because we are running these syncs multiple times, we want to gather new data and not necessarily do a full refresh every time. Now that the first sync is completed, we can now check the JSON from the output stream. We can now see that the two rows that we wrote to the database manually have been replicated to our JSON file. And now to quickly test CDC, we can go ahead and make a manual delete to our database. And then hopefully we will see that emitted as an event to our JSON file. So now all we need to do is run another sync and this will go ahead and grab the event of that deleted row. And you can see that without CDC, you wouldn't be able to even know that there was a row that was created and deleted as it happened in between sinks. And it would just kind of be ignored as if it was never there. And if we go ahead and check our JSON file for one last time, we'll be able to see that we have captured the event of the creation of the third row and its subsequent deletion. And we can see with that ABCDC deleted at field, we have the Unix timestamp for when that field was, or that row was deleted. And that concludes our showcase of Postgres CDC. If you have any questions about this, feel free to ask me in the Slack. My name's Abi, A-B-H-I or go ahead to the docs on change data capture at docs.airbyte.io and we'll be linking the docs link in the description of this video. Thank you.